64.84. Uh, the other one, remember, was uh, 45 feet per second. When the road was unbanked, the maximum you could go was 45. So notice what happened here. The banking the road with the same friction is now going to allow you to go a lot faster. You can go not only 45, but you can push it up to 64. Quite good, huh? So you can go faster, and the friction will still allow you to make the turn, and the normal force will also allow you to make the turn. OK, on the other hand, the friction will also allow you to go a little bit slower than 45. Remember, with the unbanked road, the maximum you could go was 45. Uh, this one, the slowest, uh, with the unbanked road, if the road is unbanked and you want to make the turn, uh, you can, the maximum you can go was 45. The slowest you can go, well, as slow as you want on an unbanked road, right? You can make the turn. 10 miles an hour, 5 miles an hour. So on, on, uh, an unbanked road has no minimum. The minimum is zero, basically. But it has the maximum, and that's equal to, in that case, it was 45. right? But a banked road has a maximum and a minimum. The minimum is not going to be zero. So now we're going to calculate the minimum. For V min, here's what's going to happen. When the... When the car is going too slow, the friction is going to start to be up the road to try to prevent it from sliding down. And the slowest it can go is when the friction is equal to mu s n and the weight is equal to mg. So the slowest it can go is when f s equals mu s n. So what ends up happening now is the friction fights against the the direction of the acceleration. The acceleration is this way, the centripetal acceleration. So the friction is, uh, is opposite to that. So if we go back to the equations that we have here, what ends up happening is this sign gets reversed. And then this sign gets reversed for the V min. Okay? Uh, instead of friction being down the incline, it's up the incline. So the role of the friction force uh, exchanges, reverses. If this becomes plus, this becomes minus. So it uh, ends up being um, um, n sine theta and then minus mu s n cos theta equals mv squared over r. You see the friction force is fighting the normal force in the direction of the acceleration. And then along the vertical direction, the friction force is helping the Along the vertical direction, the friction force is helping the uh, normal force to prevent the car from sliding down because it's going too slow, right? So now you solve for the normal force again. You substitute in into that, and you get a similar equation for V min. And this time, it's going to equal square root of Rg and uh, s sine of theta. And instead of plus, it's going to be minus. Uh, mu s cosine theta and divided by cosine theta minus mu s sine theta. Okay, so now we could put in the numbers, put in the numbers for our situation AD 32 sine 20 minus. 0.8, cosine 20, do all that, let's see what we get.
Oh no, sorry, this one was, should have been uh, a plus, right? Opposite to that one. The top one should be minus, the bottom one should be plus. I have a feeling that this one might come out to be undefined. Like the, the thing in the square root might be negative. Yeah? It's like that. Undefined. Now what does that mean? Why the formula didn't work? What does it mean? There is, there is no minimum. Actually, the minimum is zero. Because the ang banking angle wasn't that large. The banking angle was only 20 degrees. And the mu s was large. The static coefficient of friction was uh, 0.8, right? So the car can literally stand there and not slide down on this bank curve. Not all bank curves, but on this one. If the banking angle was greater, if this sine of theta was like say 60, 70, of course, then it'll slide down. There's a V-man, you know. So if the banking angle is too small and the mu s is large, you could get an undefined answer, which means V-man equals zero. Okay? Now, these formulas that we derived are so, so general, this very helpful. We can actually take these formulas that we derived and we use them for other situations too. For example, I could take this formula and apply it back to the example one, back to the uh, banking, uh, back to the unbanked road, right? The, uh, uh, so let's look. Let's see here. The unbanked road. had theta equal to zero, right? But it had a uh, coefficient of static friction mu s. So if I apply these f general equations to that, look what we get. We get V min equals, and then you put zero here, you get uh, cosine of uh, zero is uh, one, sine of zero is zero, so you get square root of Rg sine of zero is zero, minus mu s cosine of zero is one, divided by <coughs> cosine of zero plus mu s, so that's gonna be one, so basically one, right? So this is telling us for uh, unbanked road with coefficient of static friction mu s, the minimum velocity is square root of rg negative mu s, which means it's undefined, which means on an unbanked road you can stop and not happen, nothing happens. You can go as slow as you want. Okay, the maximum is, then you will use the other equation with the plus and minus, right? It's over there, so just the signs are switched. And this time you get Rg mu s, right? The signs are switched, so the, instead of the top being negative, it's now plus. This is the result we got for example one, right? So this is the result for example one. So I'm just showing you that example two covers the answer for example one. It gives you the same answer. It could also give you other examples. Let's say the question is, an, is a banked road without friction. Banked road without friction. 